Hey guys, it's Courtney and Seth here today, and today we are back at Universal Studios. We're going to be doing another Pit Stop episode today on the NBC Sports Bar and Grill located inside of CityWalk. I know we've reviewed this restaurant, but it's been a little while, mm -hmm. so we want to see if there's any updates, changes to the menu, so if you'd like to join us, let's go. <laughs> Today we are back at Universal Orlando City Walk to visit the NBC Sports Grill and Brew. Today we will be showing you around the restaurant, checking out the menu, and giving you our full tour and review. So let's get checked in for our reservation. All right guys, so we have made it to the NBC Sports Bar. We're gonna go check in for our reservation and check out the menu. So they do have even more seating upstairs. Let's go check it out. This restaurant, probably has the greatest selection of taps you're gonna find something that you love they also offer flights right there you can see the little flight carrier there but yeah they pretty much got anything you would want and all the grills are right down here in the bottom you can easily see everything that's going to be cooked on a grill it's right here right next to you all right so a quick look at the menu as seth mentioned they do have one of the largest beer selections that you'll find in the park all of those are listed here including some flights but on the front we do have the appetizers entrees handheld sandwiches things like that so i think we're going to go with the wisconsin cheese bites we have gotten those before and i'm going to get the boneless wings i think i'm going to go with a garlic parmesan not sure what Seth wants to get yet, but I'll check back with him in a second. And I did have to specifically ask for the cocktail menu because it is on here separately, but they have cocktails and mocktails. And I'm going to go with the Bloody Mary because it is probably one of the best Bloody Marys that Universal has on property. I'll show you guys why in just a sec. All right, so I'm going to get a Blue Moon. But I did want to mention that they do have some of their own homemade here that you can only get here. They've got beer engine, which I did ask them about, and that is essentially a room temperature beer. Um, that's just how they do it. It's, yeah, or it's at 55 degrees. So it's a lot of like European beers, I think it's like that, but just be aware that that's what that is. Here is their IPA, and then a seasonal option that they have as well. But for food, I'm gonna get the fish tacos. So as I said a moment ago, I will show you guys why this is probably, in my opinion, one of the best Bloody Marys Universal has. As you can see, it's a pretty good size. It also comes with a lot of dressings. For example, a couple of olives, and it does come with a beef jerky straw, which is actually my favorite part. And then Seth got his Blue Moon. Not much else to say about that, but we'll show you guys the appetizer and our food once it arrives. All right, so here's our Wisconsin cheese curd bites. These look really good. Probably going to have to let them cool off for a second. But it comes with marinara sauce as well. So now that we've ate a couple of them, that is not just regular marinara sauce. It kind of has a, like a barbecue taste. Yeah, I don't know if it mentions that on the menu. We'll look, but it's actually pretty good. All right, our food has arrived, and here are my fish tacos. It is pan seared, and it's got guacamole and some other toppings i guess uh i'll look back on the menu to see what all those are and it come with black beans and rice that looks pretty good and there's courtney's boneless chicken wings and the fries were an add-on but you get to choose if you want some ranch or blue cheese but those look pretty good i kind of expected them to be like sauce like more sauce on them i guess but it's like dry rub or something i don't know we'll we'll dig in and let you guys know what we think actually you can tell they toss them after frying them the a lot of the sauce is there in the bottom all right guys and like all the other restaurants here you can use your annual pass so don't forget that all right guys so i wanted to wrap up our review of the nbc sports bar and grill and city walk um, I know last time we ate there, we ate there for lunch, and today we ate there for dinner. Yeah. Um, it was okay. I just, I feel like the experience last time was a little bit better. Um, last time, if I remember correctly, I got a burger, um, but today, unfortunately, we had just eaten at the Minion Cafe, and I got a, like a 
roast beef sandwich. So I didn't want a sandwich again, so I went with mm-hmm. the wings. They basically were kind of just like breaded chicken tenders. I was expecting something like a little bit more like almost poppers or smaller wings. So I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. But the flavor was good. Um, and honestly, I should have asked for some additional sauce on the side because once you broke the chicken tender open, it was kind of, the chicken tenders were a little bit more thick, so it didn't really have a lot of sauce on it, if that makes sense. So if I do get that again, I'll probably ask for some additional sauce on the side. I do want to say that the charge for the fries was $5. Mm-hmm. That's a lot for fries. I mean, it was just a little cup of fries, so. Yeah, for it to not come with the side, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a little pricey. Honestly, I would have rather done with a couple less wings and gotten the fries included, but what did you get? I got the fish tacos. They were really good. They did taste a little salty for mm-hmm. me, but yeah. the uh, house-made guacamole on there was good yeah. and they they the fish itself had a good seasoning and i think they had some kind of lemon sauce on there too mm-hmm. um it was pretty good but it was a lot of food it was it, it was like. yeah i couldn't eat it all um it comes with three mm-hmm. um but it was a little salty tasting yeah, for me I think that was your main takeaway you and the uh, the black beans and rice was good though yeah um it's you know black beans and rice like you'd get anywhere else yeah. um, nothing too special but i, I thought it was a it tasted it, fresh enough. yeah it helped combat the saltiness i should say (laughs) um but i got the bloody mary which we've gotten before um and it's always super cute one thing i like about that bloody mary is that um it the consistency for me the thing with bloody marys is typically that they're a little bit too gritty but this one every time we've gotten it hasn't been that way which Mm -hmm. is good for me and also it's like basically an appetizer in itself because it has the beef jerky straw and it has like the pickled okra and some olives and things like that so it was good. I'll definitely recommend if you're not going to eat there, at least stop by the bar, get one of those. It's um, very picture perfect, and it is really good taste wise yep. as well. And the cheese curds. The oh, cheese I ice. forgot about yeah, I forgot yeah. about the cheese curds. Yeah, those were good. Which we got those before, so that was kind of why we stuck with that. Yeah, that marinara sauce has like a barbecue taste. I'm not sure what they exactly they put in it. It says it's house made, but yeah. we like it. Yeah, it's it, got it, like a tanginess. Yeah, it adds a little. It's something different than mm-hmm. like. You know, anywhere else you get like those that same item or mozzarella cheese sticks or something. Yeah, yeah, they it's good with or without the sauce. Honestly, those are those are good because they're a little crunchier. Um, but we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, let us know what you think of the NBC Sports Bar and Grill, and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Universal content coming soon. So until next time, we, we hope, hope to see you on the next, next adventure. adventure. Bye.